If you've never seen Lost but you'd like to know what it was all about, or you have seen Lost but you still don't know what it was all about, I'm going to explain it to you with post-it notes. Okay, this is an island, and in the centre of the island is a light. We're told that this is the source of a light that exists inside everybody, representing all of human goodness, and if the light goes out on the island, it goes out everywhere. People cease to be good. More on that in a bit, but first I'd like to introduce you to some men. First is a guy with a black shirt, we'll call him the Man in Black. The Man in Black is evil incarnate. Literally, he can turn himself into black smoke whenever he wants, and he can also take on the forms of the dead. The Man in Black is trapped on the island. Think of it like a wine bottle. The island is the wine bottle and the light at the centre of the island is the cork. If the cork was ever popped, the Man in Black would be able to escape the island, taking all of his evil with him. So that's the Man in Black. The second guy is a guy in a white shirt whose name is Jacob. Jacob is the island's protector. He makes sure that the light doesn't go out so that the Man in Black stays where he should be. So, island with a light, source of all goodness. Man in Black is evil, trapped on the island, wants to put the light out so he can leave. Jacob, protector of the island, keeping the Man in Black there and keeping the light on. Or you can think about it like that if you would prefer. Good? Good. Man in Black wants to spread his evil throughout the world, Jacob will not let him, thus Jacob and the man in black kind of want each other dead. Problem is, Jacob and the man in black can't harm each other, so they're going to have to find people who can do it for them, namely the passengers of Oceanic Flight 815. Jacob handpicks a bunch of people that he thinks will be good candidates to take over his role as the protector of the island, and then he makes sure that all those people are on Oceanic Flight 815, and then he makes sure that Oceanic Flight 815 crashes onto his island. That's where the six seasons of Lost come in. A lot of stuff happens which I won't bother going into, but the gist is that a lot of people die. The man in black kills a lot of people, he manipulates other people into killing themselves or killing each other and eventually he even finds someone to kill Jacob. And this brings us on to the lost finale. There are only four candidates left and nobody to protect the island anymore, so the man in black sets out to destroy it by putting out the light. He actually manages to do this, which means all of the island's powers get broken. He's finally free to leave the island. But he's also not a smoke monster anymore, he's just been turned back into a man. Unfortunately for the man in black, he didn't consider that being a man means you can be a dead man. Before he has the chance to leave the island, the remaining candidates are able to kill the man in black, and the hero of the show, Jack, sacrifices himself to turn the light back on. Candidate Hurley agrees to become the new Jacob and take over the job of protecting the island and making sure that nothing like this ever happens again, and the remaining candidates get on a new plane, taken off and leaving the island forever. In the final scene of the show, following Jack's death, we see him appearing in a church. We see him talking in this scene to his dead father, as well as everyone else that he's lost on the island. The show puts forward the idea that you pass into the afterlife with everyone you shared the most important moments of your life with. People who die wait in a kind of purgatory state until everyone else is ready to move on, and then they all go forward as one. So Jack accepts his death and he joins his friends who are engulfed by a white light and that's how the show ends. If you thought that this abridged version of the show was particularly interesting, I would really recommend that you go back and watch the whole six seasons because for me, Lost is a show that isn't about the story, it's about how the story is told.